Alright, I want to tell you about my newest gadget, which I think is a pretty cool um, little mod. Um, this is a touchscreen. It's a Megavision 15 inch LCD. Um, it's on a stand, which I think is makes it extremely attractive. Not many uh, monitors are like that. It's got a standard VGA out, USB out, um, and audio in. It's got built-in speakers, so if you did uh, do this, you could listen to what's happening there. Um, what I have done, a little bit uh, unusual, um, this wall that's uh, right here, it actually shared with my office, so there's a, all my cables actually go back behind the couch and through the wall, and uh, my stereo is hooked up to my computer, uh, so we can listen to uh, anything that it's playing or looking at um, through here in, in the living room. So this is a literally a computer in the other room. Uh, um, this is a uh, plug-in for Windows Media Center. Plan to pretty much leave it on the weather when you're not using it, just to kind of kind of see what's going on. I uh, see you touch it, becomes active. You can go over to the Media Center. We can um, look at photos, etc. I'm going to minimize it to show you. This is just kind of a the desktop. Um, we click on Album Player. This is an application that I really like. It was. Uh, $40. I looked around at a lot of different ones. This one had the best functionality. Basically, you can look at your music, uh, select a song, you can add it um, or uh, hit play. Um, and just with your touch, scroll through, it'll punch us here, up and, down, up and down here, select your album, it'll show you what's there. Um, select them, you can add them over to the playlist. It populates the list right over here in the corner. Um, as you switch songs, it'll um, show you the new song that's coming up over here. Um, usually does, anyways. And here's a volume control. Um, um, and uh, this is showing the status of how far the song's into it. You can sort it by artist and custom, and most recently added, etc. Really uh, neat app that I think brings uh, real functional uh, use into the living room. Um, and what you're doing when you're touching something, you're really just um, ultimately moving your mouse. You can see my mouse cursor kind of follows me there. But uh, So you could drag something, um, play a game like Solitaire. I plan to put on here some casino slot games, um, kind of like a bar unit would be if you went to the bar. Um, and go back to Media Center. Uh, one of the things, you know, there's the weather application. Um, you can have all the access to the sports, etc., and actually make kind of media center functional, I think. Um, go to your picture library. Um, and media center does a real good job of uh, making uh, it viewable. And go to Miami. This is just a slideshow we made. So um, you can uh, look, look at your pictures here. You can actually play a slideshow that will. Um, go through it. Um, I think it's a nice way to almost kind of have a digital picture frame that has a lot more um, capabilities. So um, probably will keep it mostly on the weather because I think it makes it useful. And then when you have you're entertaining or want to listen to music, uh, I think it uh, adds a real neat way to uh, add all that to it. So cost-wise, uh, you have to have another computer running. Uh, this monitor was I uh, got on eBay. Uh, again, it's a uh, Megavision. Uh, it says on the front here, High Vision. I think it's um, uh, Japanese made or Chinese made. Um, and uh, I bought it for $150 on Newegg. They're selling them for $300. Um, need a good size monitor cable, however long you're going to your computer. Uh, USB extender. Uh, and basically have some software that kind of allows you to calibrate. Uh, the mouse uh, so that when you select, but it's very responsive, uh, very uh, um, neat. You can, on this application, for instance, you can go from this is in the fore forecast uh, mode, you can look at a satellite Im image of what's going on. And it's pulling this basically from weather.com. Um, look at current, uh, and again, I kind of keep it on that, I think, ov overview mode. Uh, but I think this is a really cool mod. I had initially thought about mounting it in the wall. Uh, as I play with it more and kind of like the functionality being on a uh, couch or on a coffee table next to the couch, rather, 
um, I think it's kind of a neat uh, add-in for the living room. So that is a quick way to make your own touch monitor. Uh,